Good morning. Okay. So looking back at Brush Easy, you guys hopefully have really been tearing into getting the ABR files downloaded. There are tons. I wanted to show you just quickly. Um, uh, if you create an account with them, it goes faster. I've never received chunk mail from them or anything, but that's optional. But you notice here, top brushes, or you can even browse by category. So you might check that out. That's kind of an interesting one as well. There's a lot of non-objective brushes and some more objective-based ones, but uh, and those can be fun too. We can maybe incorporate some of those uh, interesting ones. But a lot of your background... It's just going to be kind of like layering, uh, layering those different geometric and um, volumetric kind of analogous shapes, all kinds of different shapes together. It's going to create depth. It's going to be a lot more interesting that way. I am going to provide a few examples too. Of some finished work, and you guys will be able to see some of them are maybe more successful than others, but you'll see then at least what a finished product's going to look like. So I have quite a few downloaded. Let me show you. Well, you'll see here in just a second. So, uh, you know, do your file new, get your image rolling. Um, the basics of it and at this stage you could name it I named mine brushes and then what you want to do right away before you even start is to create a new layer now, I've seen where people come in and paint this black but that's maybe not always the best idea unless you're using white brushes first and you know so um, what I would suggest is possibly if you wanted to you could even just do like, let's say these two colors down here. Maybe I'm going to go with like a light blue. And, uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe this background color, kind of a light gray. And again, this is optional, but it might help you kind of see what you're doing a little bit. And then I just select this, uh, sorry, this gradient up here gradient tool G and you can kind of, you can click gradients are fun to play around with. Um, and remember all your options are always up at the top. Um, but depending on which direction or how short the throw is, you know, it's going to create that gradient. I've even seen where people zoom way out like this and create long throws all the way through. Creates a real soft transition, a real soft gradient, something kind of nice to start on. And honestly, what I do at that point, make a new layer. Now let's go to brushes. So I've got my brush tool selected. If I go up to the drop down, you can see I've already got a couple in here. But this little arrow right here, if you click on that guy, you can see where it says load brushes right down here. So I'm going to click on that. And I have already saved um, the brush files from the video yesterday. So if you didn't see that tutorial on how to download these ABRs, watch that and then come back here. So as you can see, Creepy brushes, floral ornaments, Bioshock. Those of you that are OG gamers would know that. Um, there's a lot of non-objective stuff, but there's some things that are objective-based, like non-objective being things you don't really recognize, and objective-based things are things that you do, do recognize. Uh, yes, imagery you recognize. So here we go. I wonder... Now watch, I'll break Photoshop. I wonder if it'll let me, uh, with this older version of Photoshop, you can do it on the new one. I don't know if it will allow me to select a whole mess of them. 
No, I don't think so because it's like giving me this box. If I did control. Oh, uh, yeah, it's making me do every single one individually. I really would like to be able to do a um, maybe if I select the whole folder, I'd like to be able to sh just hit them all. Ah. Bear with me, gang. Ah, so in the newer version of Photoshop, you can actually roll through and um, just drag, you know, select them all or control and, and select them all. But this older version is not letting me. All right, well, let's just check out and see what creepy brushes are. All right, we're going to see what that is. So, all right, yeah, that's definitely creepy. And you can go up to this up here and you can do large thumbnails. You can see a stroke thumbnail. So like what, you know, those brushes look like if you're dragging them, which there's not a lot to those. Uh, you can do a larger thumbnail to be able to see, um, you know, a little bit larger preview. So try that. So I guess bear with me for just a second and I'll just... Hit a couple that I think are interesting. As you can see, I could work with them for a while. And just go through and hit. As long as you can keep it straight in your head, you could probably just load up um, a few. I gotta check that Bioshock one out now. I'm intrigued. I remember it's got like the big daddy in there and it's got a couple of the, what are they called? Little sisters in there. I remember that part in a Bioshock sign. Let's see, hello brushes, BT Tech. Abstract. And Burning Soul, we gotta add that one in there. The names they come up with. Danger Close. Throw Danger Close in there as well. Okay. And then that way you guys can kind of see once you start populating these brushes what what you're up against. All right, so you can drag this box out if you want to to give yourself a little bit larger view. Oh, that one's wild, weird. Hmm. Now let me show you, I gotta show you this. This is gonna be wild. Okay, so I'm gonna take this cat head. Here's something you can do. It's a lot of fun. So I'm gonna reset my colors since I had them changed for the gradient. And I'm gonna create another layer. So now I've got two blanks, a background, two blanks, a gradient, and a black background. So if I wanted to, I could uh, select this cat here. That's on this layer. You could rename it if you wanted to. And then below that, I could go back to a regular brush. And you guys will see what I'm doing here rapidly. Da -da -da. Okay. Control Z. Just for kind of a splash of color. And it's fast because um, 
I'm painting on the layer behind it. So it's very forgiving. It's kind of like paint by numbers. And then what I, I could continue with that or just leave it as is. And then what you can do then is uh, right click that and merge down. And so now that's become one layer. So I can control T to target this guy, rotate him, flip him around, put him wherever I want to, maybe throw him off an edge. Um, you know, we want to create uh, a project where these things just run right off the edge. All right, so don't forget to be creating layers often. So I've created another layer now, back to the brushes. And uh, maybe this time I'm gonna have just sort of a sweeping, um, let's see, let's try this guy out. Okay, so I'm gonna have this come across and it's gonna come right, I don't want it to cover the cat's tongue. It's gonna come right across the kitty cat. Okay, now that happened to be green and that's fine. You could have, you could set everything up black however you want and then go back in and change it. But since that's on its own layer, check this out. This is where it gets fun. Double click on the layer. That's gonna open up your blending options. I can drop opacities out at this page, on this page. I can throw a drop shadow in there, make it pop a little bit. Um, maybe I wanna have a gradient overlay on it. I can do that and select, come over here. Every time you select something on this side, it opens the options on this side. So maybe I wanna have, um, oh, I don't know. Let's go with red. Red to white's kinda cool actually. And you can download patterns, by the way, on that brush easy too. There's patterns you can download and install here. Like there's some insane patterns that you can do. Photoshop even provides you with some right here. So you can just hit a pin. So if I wanted there to be patterns, I would have to, in order to see those patterns, I'd have to change the overlay on the gradient, say. And then I go back to that pattern and adjust the scale of it. Now it's starting to look a little bit more like carbon fiber, kind of. Um, the strokes are kind of neat. You know, you can adjust the uh, scale of the, of the stroke on those too and kind of make those pop. And hopefully you can kind of start to see and understand how, you know, just building and moving continually placing these brushes and building those layers together, filling up all these, all that negative space or empty space is gonna be amazing. The finished product will be really cool that way. Um, so you have your diameter, your brush here. Uh, da -da. There was, and it's not showing up for me on here. I'm not seeing it. Um, I know in the ver newer versions of Photoshop, you can actually tilt the paintbrush, you know, rotate it um, 360 degrees, but I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing that option on this older version, which I guess is okay because you could literally just target it, you know, if I wanted, since it's on its own layer, that's the beauty of it i can target that and if i wanted to uh rotate it i could just come in and rotate it that way if i wanted to okay so now here's another thing i will say um, if you continue to paint then on that layer it's going to have that blending option in it, okay, all the way through.
if you want to start something new, which I recommend having a, a variety of it, uh, create a new layer. Because you don't want to have just a bunch of the same thing, you know what I mean, over and over and over again. It, it's so painfully obvious that it's a, it, it's hurried and rushed and it's just not right. Um, but what you can do even from here, so for example, there I hit green. Now I'm black on it. I resize the brush maybe a little bit smaller. So you can kind of create some cool effects just playing around with them that way. And you can paint on one layer for a while. But again, to do a blending option, um, you want to have new brushes. Look at this one. I'm going to drop flow down. One click, move a little bit, two, move a little bit, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You can, see, you, can, you can create some really interesting things and um, maybe go with a new layer. Uh, make this guy a white brush now. Let's check out the Bioshock ones. Oh, here they are. Yeah, they're definitely creepy. See, and then it's kind of like a ghost image there. Um, but you just continually keep building. And detail is huge. And you could come in with a smudge tool. Let's get the strength up on that guy. You resize brush, you know, resize the brush and make it smaller. You do some really crazy things with it. Um, but even that one, double click on it. Let's say we wanted to do, uh, ooh, that's kind of wild, the drop shadow. Bevel and emboss would make it look like it kind of has a little bit of a 3D quality to it. An inner glow, I could change that, maybe make it red, have it pop with that other one. I'm going to change that from screen to normal. And then it's just going everywhere because it's all one brush stroke. Let's see. <laughs> What's the stroke going to look like? Pretty rough. And just continue with the brushes, you know, continue downloading, continue pushing, continue, you know, uh, some of these, you guys are insane. Like, look at this one. Strength up. Create a new layer, John. There you go. I'm on smudge still. Bear with me, gang. I'm almost there. Hold on. Where is that? There's these tree brushes are really cool. crazy and of course you got a straight edge there that you'd have to cover and let's see what this one looks like these are loading up really big so pick your brushes I guess 
and the more you click them. Kind of interesting. And since it's on its own layer, I could drag it and sink it down below everything else, you know, and take it to the background. Um, smudge it, erase it, bring it out, kind of play around with it. Now, check the uh, examples that I'm going to put on for you and just keep building with this thing. Take your time. If you do uh, three things, download a ton of ABRs so you have a bunch of really cool ones to choose from. That's number one. Number two, take your time. Um, you know, quality counts and you just want to make sure that you're putting in a lot of variety. And last but not least, creating these layers over here. Make sure that you are creating layers as often as you possibly can and creating blending options. You know, look at how much it made. Um, it made this just this one geometric shape pop by having a stroke, a drop shadow, and a pattern in it. And play around with it. You know, download some patterns. There's some really neat ones out there. There's gradients out there you can download. Um, paint behind some of your brushes if you want to. And, you know, merge those layers together. Have some fun with it and just keep building. And, uh, Good luck.